Hey guys, this video is going to be about names in Japan. So not particularly useful information or <laughs> maybe not even terribly interesting to some people, but someone might find it interesting because we do. We've got a bit of a thing about the names. Uh, most names in Japan are fairly parochial because obviously, you know, pretty much 99% of the people in Japan are Japanese. So most Japanese people have really Japanese names. And it is actually rare to come across a rare name. So we know someone who's got a, a name that's a little bit rare and she gets quite a reaction to it all the time when people see her name tag, see her name, they go, oh, it's interesting. But it's not super rare, it's not super rare. And it's obviously just because Japan is fairly parochial and fairly, uh, what's the word? Everyone's Japanese, basically. Whereas if you go to America or Australia or England or Europe or pretty much anywhere else in the world now, you've got names that come from all over the place and real mixes of names. And it's really common, isn't it, for someone to tell you a name that you've never heard before. Oh, that's interesting, how do you spell that, you know? Whereas it doesn't happen here very much. Um, there is some confusion sometimes about about the the pronunciation or about the uh, how it's read because a lot of it's kanji, or almost all of it's kanji, the family names, and so so there is some confusion sometimes. Is that this one or is that this one? You know, how do you write that, or how do you say it? Because sometimes they say it in a different order or something like that. So, but generally, when you hear someone's name here, you've pretty much heard it before, um, and of course. Most people in Japan only have two names. They have their given name and their family name. So there's not a lot of surprises, you know. You, you've pretty much heard it all before. And it's all combinations. So, for example, geographical features is a common name. So Yama. Yama is mountain. Or Ishi is stone. Mura, village. Shima, island. Um, Kawa, river. Um, and then what you can do is you can make combinations of that. So, so you, the, these are family names. So you could have a family called uh, Yama Ishi, Mountain Stone, right? Or Mura Ishi, Village Stone. Or Yamamura, uh, Mountain Village. Uh, or Yamashima, Mountain Island, right? So different combinations of that. Um, and then, then you've got. Oh, there's endless, there's endless, there's animals. So you get people called Yagi or Kuma, you know, uh, goat. We know some people called goat. Uh, their name is goat. That's that's their family name, goat. Uh, Kuma, bear, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Sort of a little bit, it's a little bit like Native American names. You know, there's classic native of being a running bear and all that sort of stuff. It's, a little, it's cool, it's like that, right? Because, um, you know, in English... In English, we've got names like Smith, you know, that come from Blacksmith and Forrester that come from somebody's uh, ancestor cut down trees or, you know, we have names like that, don't we? And then other ones that come from other, you know, variations of, you know, Scottish or Irish or German or French or, you know, different names like that. But these guys have got names that are a little bit like the, the American Indian thing, you know, my name is, my name is um, Brown Bear. My name is, my name is White River. Oh, and then, because that's right, because then that's the other thing is we've got the, the adjectives. So you've got naka, you know, inside, ue, above, uh, shita, below, um, kuro, black, white, you know, shiro, uh, guchi is an entrance. Um, so then you can have things like yamanaka. So it means inside the mountain, you know, or yama ue. You know, on the mountain, or or uh, Muranaka is beside the village, or inside the village, or so. So different combinations of that too. And then sometimes you put, they'll put three together, so they'll have Mura Shima Naka. You know, so village island in in inside the village island, right? Um, so it seems that that a lot of these names have, have, people have uh, have. Uh, these names have come to their families because that's where they lived you know so so it was it was his name was you know Ken um, from Black Mountain or Ken from White River or or wherever he came from um, so 
I mean, those have been lost, of course, because they go back, you know, hundreds or thousands of years back to wherever the name came from. Um, and then what do you got? Oh, yeah, and then O. O means great. So, Oyama. So, his name is, is Oyama. So, Great Mountain. That's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> great Mountain. My name is Great Mountain. Um, uh, Omura, you know, Great Village, Oshima, Okawa, Big River, Great River. Great, my name is Great River. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, what else we got? Oh, then given names. Um, given names. The girls have got, uh, lots of girls have got really good names. They have, um, the fruits are popular. So we know, we know someone called Anzu. So her name means apricot. Isn't that cute? Um, and we we're joking the other day because Anzu and our other friend Momo the other day were together with us. And I, I, I didn't say it, but I was thinking it's like a fruit salad, right? Because Momo is peach. <laughs> so we had we had apricot and peach, right? Which is pretty cute, isn't it? And then the seasons um, is popular for girls too. So Haru, you know, is spring. Natsu, uh, summer. Uh, Aki, uh, Aki, yeah, Aki-chan. Um, autumn and uh, Fuyu. You do get the occasional for you is winter you do get a little bit and then and then what they do is they often put something at the end of it so like ko ko means little or small little so nuts ko means a small summer um haru ko small spring um ko sometimes they put ko sometimes they put ka um or mi haru ka haru ka or haru ko or haru mi uh, is uh, spring, small spring. Haruka, harumo, uh, harumi, haruko. Um, combinations of that. Um, oh yeah, and then oh, the other adjective one was north. So uh, north, south, east, and west. So sometimes they'll have uh, Yamakita, which is uh, north, north mountain. Um, um, or Gucci is an interesting one. Entrance. That's really quite common. Um, there's a kanji, those of you interested in learning Japanese kanji, probably the easiest kanji there is, is a square, right? Um, square means Gucci, so sometimes you'll see it written um, on an entrance of somewhere, and because it means Gucci, so um, Itaguchi is an entrance, so the Gucci part of that is a square, so it means Gucci or entrance, it's also used for mouth too, so yeah, the same sort of idea, right? It's a hole, basically. It's a drawing of a hole. It's a square. So you'll often see Yamaguchi. Someone's name is Yamaguchi. So if you see someone's name and it's got a kanji and then it's got a square, um, the square means Gucci. So usually like Yamaguchi, Muruguchi, entrance to the mountain, uh, Shimaguchi, entrance to the, to the island, you know, um, different combinations like that. Mori. Mori is a uh, forest. That's popular too. So just Mori on its own. Um, actually, Mori is an interesting kanji too. It's three trees, right? It means forest and it, it, it's just three trees. So it looks like a forest. Um, and just Mori. So we know someone called Mori. Their family name's Mori. Um, but then again, you can have Mori Gucci, entrance to the forest. Uh, Mori, Mori Mura, uh, forest village. So you can see. So basically, there's not a lot of surprises in the in the in the names. It's just combinations. It's all these different combinations that you get. Um, basically, just this different combinations. So it's sort of interesting. We were walking the street recently. We had to the local association thing. We had to put these little things in letterboxes, and the names on the on the letterboxes, you know, and really interesting because that's what triggered this video actually because it was like Yamashita, you see written, you know, the two kanji, Yamashita, and then you go to the next one, and it's Yamaguchi, you know, that's interesting, you know, that guy's below the mountain, this guy's entrance to the mountain, just coincidence, but you've only got so many combinations, you know, that's why it's unusual for someone here to have an unusual name that nobody's heard, because, you know, who knows, there's a limit, obviously, if we did a complete list of all the different names, and then all the different combinations. You could work out how many possible Japanese names there are, you know, it's it's um, it's limited, it's not unlimited. So you get all these different combinations. Um, one of the coolest we we know, there's a guy we know, because a lot of cool ones, some some people have names, and because 
they don't think about it so much, of course, because it's like if your name's Carpenter or something, you know, people don't stop to think, you know, John Carpenter, oh, so someone in his family, in his history was actually a carpenter, you know? We don't sort of think about it that deeply, do we? But, but with that Native American idea in mind, you know, it's interesting sometimes when you hear these names to think, oh, you know, that's a cool name. That's a cool name. And probably one of the coolest that I've ever heard was there's a guy called, um, and because remember too, Japanese names are back to front. They say the family name first. Um, and the guy's name was Sameshima, Sameshima Ken, right? Now, now um, Ken, Ken is, so it's a, Ken's the given name, right? Same as uh, in English, with lots of English speaking people, Kenneth, right? But in Japanese, Ken can mean um, sword, right? And Sama is shark and Shima is island. So dude's name <laughs> was Sword from Shark Island. <laughs> How cool is that? What's your name? Because it's Shama, Sama Shima Ken, so really it's, um, it's uh, Shark Island Ken. Shark Island Sword, the guy's name is. Shark Island Sword. But in English you'd say Sword from Shark Island, wouldn't you? So, that, how cool is that? <laughs> What's your name? My name is Ken from Shark Island. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. So, so yeah, it's it's interesting if you if you spend some time in Japan or meet some Japanese people and come across some Japanese names, sort of sometimes interesting to find out what they mean. Um, there's a lot more examples too. Lots of you who are watching this will know other examples that are cool. So if you if you know of any. Um, leave a comment on Facebook or on Patreon and let us know which ones you know. We should start a big collection, shouldn't we? We should start like like a, our Japanglish videos. We should start an, uh, uh, a series of videos of cool Japanese names. <laughs> so, anyway, there it was. Cool names. My name is Sword. My name is Sword from Shark Island. <laughs> More videos. Coming soon.